Six years ago when I started this YouTube channel, uh, I didn't think twice about using the name Fat Guy Does Things. Um, you know, to me, it was, uh, it, it made sense, you know. I, I always wanted to have, when I decided that I wanted to, uh, try doing YouTube videos, this would have been, um, five years before I started posting and I decided, you know, I'd, I'd kind of like to try YouTubing myself. Um, of course at the time I wanted to make a career out of it. Um, by the time I actually started recording and uploading videos five years later, um, that was a different story. I knew at that point that I wanted to uh, have like a normal civilian life and not, <coughs> excuse me, and not uh, not uh, make a career out of it. Um, but to me, the name Fat Guy Does Things made sense because I, I looked at it as you can sum up all of the channel, all of the content I was going to have, and uh, you can sum it up with just those those few words right there. What is the channel about? A uh, fat guy does things. So it made sense to me, and uh, I embraced the name, and I guess everything that uh, came with it for uh, quite a bit. Um, and then about, well... You probably noticed I haven't been uploading lately. Uh, it's it's happened before in this channel's history, but um, six or seven months ago, <clears throat> um, oh, what I think it was a it was like the middle of the week. It was like a Wednesday, and you know I, I like to go on to uh, the YouTube app and and check my comments every now and then, and. Uh, you know, this this one comment on uh, my most recent video, uh, I think it was like a Dairy Queen confetti cone or something, was, uh, you know, basically insulting me for being fat, said I had like a weird forehead or whatever because I was so obese and that I was getting fatter. And, um, you know, that, that person has never... I've never met that person, you know, uh, they've never been in the room with me when I've gotten on the scale. Um, because, uh, you know, honestly, my weight has been about the same, very high still, you know, a lot higher than I would like, but it's pretty much fluctuated up and down about 20 pounds in either direction for the last seven years. So I knew they didn't know what they were talking about. So it bothered me. I moved on. Uh, and then the following Monday, I caught one that, uh, you know, it, it's almost funny um, because it, it, the, the, the comment was, was something along the lines of, you know, I, I bet we'll be seeing fat guy tries a coffin or something like that. And I'm giving these comments way more attention than they deserve. And honestly, I should have at the time, and I eventually did just report them, report the comments and move on with my life. But um, a few, quite a few people who watch these videos know me in real life. They saw the Facebook post I made. I screenshotted the comments and uh, put them up. Um, and told them, hey, I'm taking a break from the channel for a while. And the first thing I did after I uploaded that was I uh, drove out to Pizza Luce, which is a nice little pizza place chain here in the Twin Cities. Um, it was a couple miles from where I was living at the time. And um, I ate... You know, I, I turned to, I don't drink a whole lot. You know, I've never been just 
completely hammered. I've gotten a buzz, but I've never been like, I, I've never really partied, you know, I, I, I've never smoked, never wanted to smoke because my dad smoked and I remember the smell just coming home from his place with it in my clothes and just hating that smell and thinking I never want to try a cigarette. Not really interested in, you know, anything too addictive. But the one exception throughout my life has been food. And um, I ate and uh, I cried a little bit too, you know, it was... That was a rough afternoon. And the scary thing is, is I was I was driving back to my apartment and I tried to sit down and just think about the meal I just eaten and uh honest to god I, I couldn't remember anything about it. You know, it just usually you sit down for a meal like that and you try to enjoy it. Um but what I did was just binge eating. You know, I, I binged because, because I was depressed, because I was upset. I, I turned to food. And, you know, when I was challenging myself to come up with just one detail, what do I remember about that meal? You know, anything of how it tasted or anything couldn't do it um and that really put into perspective my relationship with food and i'll be honest i've i've done meals like that since um and i guess what i'm trying to get at is at the time i didn't know if i was ever going to come back to youtube obviously now things are different um, I want to bring back the channel because it means a lot to me personally. Um, and I know that they're the, the, the people who watch, who enjoy it. I don't want to take that away from them. I want to give back to them because those are really the people I should be paying attention to and not, you know, just two guys who I, I guess just I shouldn't even give them any more attention to them. But here we are. But I've thought a lot about the name of the channel since I decided to come back. And, you know, Fat Guy Does Things had, it, had its time and place. At one point, I, I really was proud to be the fat guy, you know. It was on uh, everything, you know. But um, I don't want to be that guy you know I don't want to be I don't want people to look at me and think oh there's the fat guy yeah he's always going to be fat he's always going to eat food in his car and he's always going to do this and that and you know um because there's a lot more to me that that I feel like I have to give and um one of the good things about taking a break from YouTube was it kind of gave me a chance to discover more of who I am. I've always struggled with that, you know. I've always been really unsure of who or what I want to be. Um, and I think in, like, kind of actualizing myself, I think the best thing for me... It's just to be who I am to the world because I, I like who I am. Other people like who I am. Um, and I don't really need that persona anymore. So the, from, from this day forward, you're no longer watching Fat Guy Does Things. Uh, you're watching Jack Does Things because, you know... When the fat guy was uh, was sitting in the parking lot um, of his college campus, 
chowing down on a McDonald's sandwich. That was Jack doing that. You know. Uh, when the fat guy came on and talked about how losing his grandparents affected him and, you know, kind of opened up about his grief, that was Jack doing that. Um, you know, anytime the fat guy had someone else in his car, you know, his brother, you know, drinking Mountain Dew Voodoo or, or Big D eating Culver's, you know, that was Jack doing that. And, um, I'm, I'm proud of, of what I've done with the channel, but I'm ready to, uh, I'm ready to go under a different name. I'm ready to try different things to open up a bit more of myself to uh, to the people who watch. So I've said a lot of words about a pretty simple change, but I just wanted everyone to know where I'm coming from. Um, and I want everyone to know that um, that I am trying to lose weight and that I have been trying different healthier foods and uh, I haven't seen a whole lot of progress on the scales, but um, I'm, I haven't gotten discouraged. I'm gonna keep trying different things, different diets, different forms of exercise. I'm gonna be seeing my doctor at the end of the month to talk with him about it, so. Um, I just wanted to, I, I just wanted to explain this change to all of you, to everyone who's watched and supported me and, uh, and, um, has gotten to know the fat guy because it doesn't feel like it's that big of a deal, but it is a change and, uh, I wanted to explain it to everyone. And just say that uh, if you've enjoyed Fat Guy Does Things, I, I hope you enjoyed Jack Does Things as well. So thanks for watching, everyone. And uh, here we go. This is the first chapter of uh, this new story in the channel. So hope you enjoy. I've got plenty more content to come. Still going to be doing food reviews. Um you know, a lot of the same stuff. Um, but I will be experimenting with other videos too. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed and, uh, here we go. Welcome to day one of Jack does things. Thanks for joining me and have a wonderful day.